This the sunset right here, y'all. This is normally the time when everybody come out and get ready and have the little out eatery. Everybody at Ocean 7. Everybody began to come on out and they parking their cars and getting ready to party. It's the spot. See way back there, them little mountains back there, them the blue mountains, y'all. So to travel out there to the blue mountains, I think that's like maybe between two and three hundred dollars to travel all the way up there to, you know, to the blue mountains to taste the coffee and they hike and all that, you know. I I, I was gonna do that when I first planned the trip, but I decided to not. Uh, I felt that I was just led to just relax and, uh, you know, just take a chill pill. And maybe later I can, you know, have the opportunity to go out there. You know, I just felt that I was just, you know, mainly led to just study and relax, get away from the, the busy life in Indiana, you know, or Chicago, the work, the work schedule life, teaching. You know, so I just decided to come on out here and just relax. Maybe next time I had an opportunity going on and hike up to the Blue Mountains next time. And see, the Blue Mountains, y'all, that's where the, the Rastafarians are. Most of the Rastafarians are secluded in the Blue Mountains. They're not, they're not, they're not in the city. You're not going to see uh, most of the, the Rastafarians down here. Actually, when I was walking around down here with my Rastafarian hat, one of the older guys was like, Rastafarian. Then he thought about it. He was like, oh, where you from? <laughs> I said, I'm from, I'm from the city, man. I'm, I'm, I'm from the country. I'm from the U.S. He was like, oh, okay. <laughs> because they, 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 the Rastafarians are not out here. They're secluded. They're set apart. You know what I'm saying? They got their own little thing going on. That's why they have different colors out here. You know, the the green, black, and, and gold or yellow is Jamaican colors. And the red, green, and gold is Rastafarian colors. They have their own different <laughs> flag and who they worship and stuff like that. You know, it's like a whole different thing. They're still Jamaican, but they, their religion is Rastafarian. The reason why I wouldn't mind, you know, talking to them is to get to know, know more about, about their lifestyle and their culture. I'm not trying to worship Haley Celeste and I'm not trying to be about the Rastafarian religion. But I like the peace that they stand for. Uh, I like their eating habits. I like the peace that they keep within them, them themselves and throughout their culture. Uh, they're, they're authentic with the things they eat, do. Their, their, uh, their food intake, they're not uh, with, uh, you know, taking medicines and they just don't believe in all that and, and I'm actually not for all that either at the most. Don't get me wrong, I take a Tylenol in my hair, you know, if I can't find nothing naturally to stop my hair from hurting, but overall, I would rather use natural ingredients for my body, for real. And once again, you know, they do smoke their marijuana and it's the real deal. You know, but that I, I have found that out by being out here. The, the Rastafarians are not in, are not mainly in the city. They're mostly secluded from the cities, and they're in. They're mostly. I'm just saying they're mostly in the Blue Mountains. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure you will see uh, some Rastafarians. You know, in Montego Bay. Uh, Negro or Negro in Kingston somewhere in the city. 
But just like, you know what I'm saying, I've been out here, I've been, I haven't seen too many people out here with dreadlocks. Everybody walk around with normal haircuts and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, yo. But yeah, it's like I'm the only one out here with dreadlocks over here downtown Kingston. I told one of the, one of the people they thought I was a Rastafari. It's like, wow. But see, that's the difference though. Everybody think when somebody got dreadlocks that they're all Rastafarians and that they're all over in Jamaica. Actually, there, it's a different culture. That's why they got different uh, flag colors. I didn't know that. I did not know that, but now I know. That's why it pays to go to different countries to see, you know, see more about people's culture, their lifestyle, and that way you'll know uh, what you're dealing with what you're around and how people's lifestyle is. It's good to know. It's good to know. But yeah, anyway, out here around this time, they be out here getting ready, baby. They be out here, you know, they don't be clowning, though. They, they don't be on nothing negative. They just be chilling, man. You hear the music? They just be out here, you know, chilling. They get ready for the nightlife. Morning time, it be quiet. Besides, Mr. Uh, Mr. Blower Man, you know, cleaning up. But other than that, is is it's more civil and quiet out here, and more like business. And then as soon as everybody get ready to go home, they close up the government, the governor, the the government places like down there. You got the uh, I forgot what you call it right there. There's some type of government place right there, the bank or something. When that thing close up business, it's time to get it in. Got the wagon guys down there, the cart guys with the walla melon. <laughs> the vendor people. All I smell is jerk and male one out here. <laughs> yeah, but this is what's happening out here, y'all. Just giving y'all few few minutes of a glimpse of the sunset out here in Jamaica. I'm on my way home, and I guess maybe in another six to another another what six or seven months I'll be planning another trip somewhere. Don't know for sure right now, but I'll be planning another trip out the country just living baby just living that's what y'all should do live man